Let's cross over to Qatar uh, quickly and speak to Juliet Bewa, who's been there for quite a while. Great job you've done so far in updating us on what to expect in Qatar. How is it going? Well, Bella, thank you very much. And um, good morning to everyone watching us on um, TV3 and also New Day as well. But everything here in Qatar, everything is going well. We are counting down to the big kickoff. And um, I would say that they've outdone themselves here in Qatar. And they are looking forward to this one month fiesta the fans um are in most of them some of them are also getting in we're expecting about 1.5 million fans to come into qatar mm. the teams are also arriving and later today at exactly 4 15 pm okay. the black stars will arrive here in qatar so that will be around 12 15 in ghana so we'll mm. be there as well to um get that particular coverage so everything is going well um luna messi is here um, yesterday, I got an opportunity to also watch the training session of South Korea. Mm. And they are looking good. Remember, South Korea, we are playing them in our second game. And we here at Media General, um, TV3, we are also ready, like Gary exactly. said in the studio. Yes, we are ready. But what do you make of our pundits? I mean, we just unveiled them officially on TV. We have two of them here, by the way. But you've been the lead um, on the team. What do you have to say? Well, I think a, a lot of um, discussions or a lot of considerations went into us picking up and we are not looking um, just about who will come and add up to the numbers, but we're looking at people who have experience and also who have connection with um, the fans. You know, we are moving from that stage that we, we you don't have to get um, maybe old people in there to, for you to connect with people, but most importantly, persons who have in-depth knowledge about the World Cup and also about football as a whole. So if you talk about somebody like Eva Autry, she needs no introduction. You mentioned Emmanuel Lajumamberu, who has been to the World Cup before, so much experience, and he will be sharing that. We have um, Sheila Ilyasu in there. He has been to World Cup before, and Sheila will tell you that it is an amazing feeling when you get to um, go to World Cup and even represent your national team. That is the most important thing. Mm. And we're also looking at the numbers. When we are talking about the World Cup, we are talking about the fans, we are talking about um, content, we are talking about the football, but we will be looking at the numbers. Yeah. How are the Black Stars even going to the World Cup? How do they match up with the likes of other teams? Uh, Argentina coming in, trying very hard to win this particular World Cup for um, Lionel Messi before he retires. And also Ronaldo coming in to his fifth um, World Cup will also be trying very hard to crunch all the numbers. That is where data comes in. Yeah. So a lot more will be done on the data side as well. And you saw that we've left out two spaces in there. Yes, you we'll have. We'll be um, telling. We will be telling you. We're not. We're not giving too much away. We'll be telling Juliet, in the coming days. We're we will not be happy. On Bella. <laughs> Let us know now. Don't keep us in suspense. <laughs> We don't like you know, that. Let me talk. Let me give you. Let me give you a bit of hint. Okay. So we are bringing in experts from FIFA who will be. Who, they have all the data. I so see. So with everything that we'll be doing on the touch screen, we will be getting an expert there, mm. and he'll be talking to us about the numbers. And don't forget, even in house, we have our own data specialist. That is Oroku Ampopo. Oh, I see. He is amazing at what he does as well. So Oroku will also be helping with that, but. We are getting someone in from FIFA who has all the numbers, who has all the data, nice. and will be helping us um, do that particular one. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, well, keep up the good work. We'll be coming to you again later in the day, I'm sure, to give us some more updates on when the Black Stars arrive in Qatar.